Hi everyone, uh, this is Kishore from AppsDB.info. In the previous session, uh, what we applied is we applied all the ETCC patches. Uh, there is one patch which I cannot uh, install, that is this particular patch because of uh, you know extended warranty or you know we don't have that, so that's why I ignored it. Maybe later on, once you upgrade to 19C, uh, we can check into that. Uh, then you you know you after you start the database, you have to you know you have to run the uh, data patch. So let me do that. So let me go through the next steps what you need to do. Uh, so after that we will upgrade the you know DST version. If required you do this and in some project I got this you can follow this particular note. Uh, by default the time zone version is 10 and if at all you want to in uh, make it 18 you can follow the steps. Uh, right and after that once this is completed uh, from 12 to we will try to log in uh, to our 12102 database. So how to do that? So let us open Yeah, so we will see now I am running the 12.2 application and from 12.2, 12.2 I am logging into 12.1.0.2 uh, database. So you no longer need the 12.1.3 uh, uh, application from now onwards except for the custom top uh, uh, migrations I am just telling you. But if you see this still your application will be you know, 12.1.3 uh, only. So if you want you can take a backup. Uh, and after that we will enable the you know, maintenance mode and we update few profiles right we just wait for uh, these patches to get completed in the meantime you know you can update all these profiles and next step is we are going to update uh, apply the 12.2 upgrade uh, driver patch so you have to go through and see the readme file so along with this particular uh, patch 12.2 you also have to update the cup you know cup 11 cup 11 patch is what i have selected uh, you can always select the day you start you can select the whatever is the latest one but you follow the readme file so how do you apply this so you have to create a directory and copy the two files one is the ad driver and next one is the the cup 11 driver and unzip them and then merge them and then apply them you merge them and then you uh, you know you, you apply them so that is the way how you are going to apply this particular patch so yeah so we have done with the uh, data patch so now we'll proceed with the you know, next step so for that I, as i told you what we do is we'll go to our patch log location so our patch log location yeah is this one so what i'll do i'll create a directory called ad source and i have uh, copied two patches copy two patches and unzipped it one is the ad driver ad 12 point driver and one is the uh, the cup 11 software okay so also i need to create a target so we have unzipped these two patches and the next step what we have to do is we have to create another folder yeah like this we have to create another folder one step backwards uh, one step backwards we are on the source and we have to create one directory now we need to merge them you need to merge both of them i think there is one space required right so once you merge it you will you know both of the patches will be merged so why not we just capture this particular screen So then you can compile the invalid objects. Okay, so then we need to run the AD grants. Um, so you need to go to this particular patch and there will be AD grants which you need to copy to the database driver and we need to apply it. So we'll just wait for this particular thing to get completed. Okay, so now what we'll do, we'll go to, okay, we have the So there is a AD grants. Oh, it will be there in the admin apps. 
copy the ad grants.sql file to temp location and now you go to the database driver and run this particular script okay? uh, so that is been taken care Okay, in case of if you are in uh, CDB, you know, CDB environment and 19C, you just have to export like this and run the environment file. Okay, we are all set to apply the, you know, we are all set for to apply the merged batch. So how do you do this? You have to go to this cup 11 and apply this particular, uh, no, this particular driver, driver file. So we will go to our application tar. Yeah, this is completed. And uh, I need to be in a particular location uh, let me recheck yes right uh, so this will uh, this will take for a while so I need to mute this is I need to mute the decision so it will ask you for the location you just say enter and it will start applying the AD 12.2 driver the AD 12.2 uh, patch is almost uh, getting completed uh, so the next step is uh, yeah this is completed so the next step is we need to apply the uh, cup patches in a pre-install mode so so we need to go to this particular directory and then we need to apply the uh, you know apply this particular patch in the pre-install mode if at all there are any patches in the pre-install mode you need to go to this particular directory and you know wipe uh, wipe it out so why not first we apply this particular patch and then we proceed so I'll just go one step backwards and I think we have the yep. so we go inside this uh, folder and we apply the patch in a pre-install mode so how you do this you go here I'm inside the folder and I run the in a pre-install mode so it will be U driver yeah so it will actually not touch the database because you told pre-install is equal to Y so after that what you need to do is um, you know if there are any other pre-install patches to be applied you need to refer this particular node and uh, apply the patch in the same in the pre-install uh, pre-install mode then we need to apply the main upgrade driver patch that one we will see in the uh, in the next session thank you for watching